Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, welcome. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know all the good things. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. I am so, so excited about today's video because it's a video that you guys have been requesting me to do and I have been getting a lot of questions now that borders are opening, things are opening up and I feel like a lot of people are moving to Australia. So a lot of you have questions and I decided to do a video to guide you if you're thinking of coming to Australia things that not every other person is going to tell you and i really hope that this video is going to help you guys whilst you are planning on moving and i hope it will help you when you move to australia if you're thinking of doing so so let's get right into today's video today i am going to be talking about things that you should know before you move to australia i've done a video similar to this one before it's one of my first videos that video was three years ago and it was just when I had come to Australia and now I am giving you guys an updated video things that you should know before you move to Australia things that I have learned over the years that I really wish someone had told me before I came to Australia so buckle up guys I really hope you guys enjoy the video so the first main thing that I wish someone had told me before coming to Australia was expect nothing and you won't be disappointed this is in terms of job hunting you guys when i came to australia i was thinking i'm coming to the land of milk and honey or opportunities greener pastures and it really wasn't what i experienced so what i'm trying to say you guys is if you're moving to australia as a student or as a postgraduate you should be flexible i know we all dream of studying and working in our dream jobs or moving to a different country and getting this high paying job that is not the reality well for me that is not the reality that i experienced so if you're thinking of moving to australia you should be flexible you should be someone who's willing to work in disability or fundraising retail you know all these other jobs to make money whilst you're looking for your dream job because my experience was i studied in australia for three years and i only got to work in the area that i studied in after three years so during those three years that i was studying i worked in fundraising i worked in retail i worked in childcare. so if you're moving to australia do not have high expectations trust me 99 percent of people are not working in their dream jobs whilst they are studying and getting their degree so all i'm trying to say is be flexible because it's not everyone who's going to be getting a high paying job you know we all dream of high paying jobs sending money back home yes you will be able to get a high paying job but it will most probably not be in your area that you have been trained in or in the area that you have studied in so if you're moving to australia you need to be flexible one of the most important things that i wish someone had told me when i moved to australia was connections are very important once you move to australia when you are studying try to make connections with people that are in your field that you're studying with try to make connections with your lecturers try to make connections with anyone that you think one day will be able to link you up to your career path or to link you up to your dream job what i noticed in australia is most companies hire from within so if a job becomes available that job is advertised to the current employees within that organization and it's from those employees that they then make recommendations of people that they know that are looking for jobs so if you're thinking of moving to australia making connections is very important it's not only for 
your dream job or to link you up to your career path but it's also because the people that you meet become your family you know i have so many people that i've met in australia that really now feel like relatives to me so making connections with people is very very important especially when it comes to looking for jobs for example i was telling you guys that i came to australia three years i wasn't working in accounting and it's only after three years when i told a friend of mine that i was looking for a job that i ended up getting an interview in my company that i'm currently working for so connections 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 i always say this in australia it's not about what you know which school you went to what you have trained in what's important is who you know because who you know is going to link you to that dream interview for your dream job so make connections guys when you get to australia don't become an island make connections use your linkedin use your social media especially linkedin you guys and if you're coming as a student your classmates your lecturers those are the people that will be very important in lending you your dream job moving on to one of the points that i feel is very important when you are coming to australia you should be willing to sacrifice what do i mean by that for example i live in sydney sydney is one of the most beautiful cities in the world so many tourist attractions so many things to do but it's also one of the most expensive cities in the world and then there are also areas like western australia southern australia which really do not have much for you to see but these areas are very affordable so when you move to australia you need to ask yourself what do you value do i want to live in sydney where there's so much to do so much to see and pay so much money for it or do i want to move maybe in western australia southern australia where the cost of living is not so high so it's honestly about what you value what's your lifestyle what are you trying to get out of moving to australia the next point you guys is something that i really really wish that someone had told me before i moved to australia if you are moving to australia you need to have an end goal what do i mean by this if you are a student before you even come to australia you need to ask yourself are you just coming to study or are you looking to live the rest of your life in australia the reason why i'm saying so is if your end goal is living permanently in australia then you should start thinking about the number of points that you can generate whilst you are in australia because for permanent residency in australia it's all based on the point system so if i had known about this before moving to australia i would have moved to regional australia to study in regional australia because you get points for studying in regional australia and you also get points for living in regional australia so if i had known about this to be honest because now it's something that i'm always thinking if i had known about this before coming to australia that's something i would have opted for because it would have made me generate more points after graduating which would have made me getting permanent residency easier so if you are moving to australia and you're thinking of living in australia permanently this is one thing that you need to be thinking about you guys like i can't stress this enough what's your end goal if your end goal is living permanently in australia start thinking about the point system how can you generate your points like for example recently they've just released that for you to get the state sponsored visa for you to get an invitation for the state sponsored visa you need to have worked for three years and of which most students would not be having three years working experience for them to qualify to get an invitation for this state sponsored visa so these are the things that you need to start thinking if you're moving as a student or as a postgraduate start thinking about these things what can you do for you to generate more points because if i had known about this surely i tell you i would have been in a better situation i'm not saying i'm in a worse of situation right now but if i had known about this i would have started working towards my points as soon as i got into australia so i really hope this helps someone who is thinking of moving to australia start thinking about your points and i think the next point for me is very touchy it's a point that is very close to home so it's about how expensive healthy living is in australia 
so when i moved to australia and i was a student i really didn't care about what i ate to be honest it used to be mcdonald's domino's i really didn't care but then now that i've graduated and i'm really trying to work towards my health i've noticed that my budget every week for groceries has also grown and this has clearly shown me that healthy living in australia is expensive fast food and all your unhealthy foods are so affordable you guys but then when we start talking about vegetables organic meat those things are extremely expensive so that's one thing that you also need to remember when you're moving to australia that a healthy lifestyle is extremely expensive but as a student i really don't think students really care about this as a student when you're moving to australia honestly you don't care and i didn't care but then when you start thinking about what you're putting into your body and when you start thinking about how you're preparing your meals and you just want healthy foods and healthy meals it will cost you an arm and a leg i honestly do not know why it's so expensive but a tip for you guys if you are looking for like fruits and vegetables you should opt more for farmers markets fruit and veggie markets because those tend to be cheaper to buying fruits and vegetables from Woolworths or from Coles. and also for meats i would highly recommend buying from butcheries as opposed to buying from within a store so i hope that tip will help you guys healthy living is expensive but you can always work around it the next point is really something that i wish someone had told me before coming to australia it's quite embarrassing you guys but it's about getting a license in australia to be honest with you guys i really think that australia is one of the countries that has such a long process when it comes to getting a license and i really wish i knew this before moving to australia i understand that the reason why the process is long and so complicated is because they want to keep our roads safe which i really appreciate but i wish someone had told me before i moved to australia that i should get my license back home in zimbabwe and come to australia with an international license so one thing that i would want to recommend you guys is if you're coming to australia get an international license from your home country and then when you come to australia you can always convert your license to an australian license so the process of converting will not be difficult at all all you have to do is do maybe a few driving tests so that you get to understand the rules of driving in australia and then do a driving test and you will get your full australian license as opposed to going through three to four years of learning how to drive and going through all the processes of getting a driver's license in australia if i had known this you guys i would be having my license right now but i don't because i was so dumb enough to come to australia without a license and i have to do the australian process which really takes a long time and the last important point that i want to leave with you guys is how expensive accommodation is so living closer to cities you guys is very expensive as i have mentioned earlier and when you're moving to australia you need to have this in mind so you need to ask yourself do you want to live closer to the city and pay a lot for it or move further away from the city and have an affordable lifestyle if you're thinking of living closer to the city you could even opt for sharing your apartment with some other people which can lessen the cost a lot for you but that's it from me you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and i helped someone who's thinking of moving to australia i really enjoy hearing back from you guys and i can't wait to hear what you guys think about the video i hope i I've helped someone who's thinking of moving to Australia but till my next video you guys bye